the World Bank has warned that the time and short transition period to the redesign Naira notes will have a negative impact on economic activities and in particular the poorest households. They redesigned 200 Naira, 500 and 1,000 Naira notes came into circulation Thursday, December 15, why the old ones will cease to be legal tenders from January 31, 2023. The World Bank, in its latest Nigeria development update, noted that international experience such as policy, when rapidly implemented, generates significant short-term costs, especially on small businesses and poor households. And now to look at the position of the World Bank as regards uh, the redesign around it now. Olai De Bano, macroeconomic analyst, joins us uh, virtually now. Thank you for your time and compliment yeah. of the season. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you for the season to you too. Yeah. Thank and you for having me. Yes. So talk to us about the position of the World Bank as regards these. Uh, they say, they said that the position, or will I say the transition between when the Naira, uh, new Naira note, uh, you know, goes into circulation and of course the time that the old one will be withdrawn from the uh, from the economy, it's it's too short. They raise concern about this. Uh, what came to mind when you saw uh, the World Bank's position on this? Yeah, uh, firstly, let me first say about this uh, particular development uh, is, as everybody be saying, is overdue because the last time we had a currency um, redesign in this manner has been over almost two decades ago. So it's right. overdue and it's necessary we do it. So and based on what uh, the World Bank said that the timing, if you remember the the timing itself it started immediately the CBN. I will personally say it started immediately the CBN announced the redesigning of the Nara and made mention of the date in which the new note will come into circulation and the date in which the old currency, I mean, the old notes will be out of um, uh, the circulation as well. So, and that was October 26 this year, and that is, goes into the January uh, 31st, 2023. So, I believe the timing itself uh, is not too too small for the for the old currency to face out of circulation. I would rather say, in terms of the and the implication of that on the um, premises and the low income earners is actually for the for the period for the for this particular period it we have a kind of uh, it may have a kind of uh, negative impact as the World Bank made mention of the reason being that there will be much of uh, money in circulation within this particular period the whole currency will be in circulation, has been in circulation in existence, and the new one will come into it. So, this another additional uh, currency in circulation. So, as mm. as because of that, there will be much of there will, there will be a kind of error chasing the people, some people using the error to go into the effects. And we know what has been the implication of uh, what has been the impact of that on the inflation rate over time. Mm. But uh, going yeah, like, like January 31st, yeah, let, let me quickly jump in here, permit me. Uh, I mean, the, the World Bank actually agreed um, the fact that the CBN is coming out with this, uh, given the fact that the last time the, the um, Naira note was printed was about two decades ago. They agree with it, no doubt about that. But I think the concern they raised is the time limit. And you have said that it, that, that was okay because if you look at December 15 to January 31st, they are looking at the fact that uh, how possible is it for CBN to retrieve the old Naira and give out new Naira notes? I mean, don't forget again, there's also another issue there that we also have counter counterfeit uh, fitting notes out there at the moment, and the CBN is trying to battle that as well. Speak to us on this issue. Yeah, yeah you made mention of two issues here. The period at which to take out the old currency out of the market. Let me first address that. If you, if you notice, about two weeks ago, when CBA announced the withdrawal limits, it's another aspect in which to figure out the uh, the whole currency. And yesterday, there was another circular from the CBN saying that, okay, the withdrawal limits 
has been uh, readjusted, revised, so to say, mm. to 500,000 naira to 5 million for right. this account. It's another aspect in which to make sure that, okay, yes, to mop up the uh, the old currency in, uh, in circulation, in so that people will not be making use of their electronic uh, needs to do, to transfer, um, to do business, so to say, rather than making use of um, the cash. And as such, I believe that the new currency coming into circulation in terms of volume will be lower to compare to the um, the old currency. So that's that's one. And another aspect of it, uh, Please remind me of that, sorry, sir. Yeah, please. I can hear you. Go ahead. Yeah. The other aspect of it is the, okay, after the uh, the, the January 31st, um, so to say, I uh, believe, okay, that's actually may be a kind of time in which we have a readjustment or in the economy in terms of the money supply and we begin to see a kind of um, positive impact mm -hmm. in terms of the uh, inflationary pressure. Okay. Now, um, also, some of the issues uh, the World Bank has raised. Can you hear me? Now, some of the yeah, issues, yes, the World Bank has raised is the issue of, uh, you know, short-term cost, especially on small businesses, businesses and the poor household as well. Talk to us about this. Um, how do we mitigate the short-term costs, especially on small businesses and, um, you know, poor households as well? Yeah, I made mention of this earlier on that, okay, at uh, this period we have now, that the old currency is in circulation and to January 31st, that much of volume coming into the much of currency coming into the circulation. And this is actually going to impact the cost for the uh, poor households in terms of what they, what they do with the currency, what they um, purchase with the currency in the market and going to impact, uh, actually impact them more. That doesn't say we should the CBA should stop the policy because after January thirty first, uh, we will begin to see a kind of uh, moderation in the economy. Mm. Now, finally, before I, I let you go, um, talk to us a, again uh, in terms of um, uh, spending. Uh, the issue of uh, limit limit withdrawal, or will I say um, withdrawal limit right now although it's been reversed now review rather and uh, we now have five hundred thousand for individual and uh, about five billion era uh, for corporate organization corporate, yeah. uh, which of course you have said earlier but again um let's look at that in terms of spending do you think that would change the pattern of spending especially within this christmas period um yes actually i don't think it's going to impact have any impact you know the from the previous one i think is more impactful in the economy compared to the new um reverse um from the if you remember last year the ndic made a statement uh, made a publication about about over 99 percent of account holdings in nigeria as less than five hundred thousand in their account so the issue there is that okay for the account that has less than five hundred thousand naira, are you telling us that okay we are going to withdraw the whole amount in their account just at once so which means that it's still more uh realistic to say personally that okay the five hundred thousand naira may still not uh, possible uh, i believe the cbn actually brought to pressure as many publications we've seen this morning that the hundred thousand naira and uh five hundred naira have been too low and the uh four hundred thousand for the corporate have been too low in terms of um cash or withdrawal from the accounts. But I believe in terms of spending also is not going to have any uh great impact. impact because people can still do their transaction electronically if they want. Okay. I think we should leave it there. Thank you so much, Chair. Uh, Olai Debano is macroeconomic analyst uh, talking to us on the position of World Bank uh, concerning the new redesign or the new notes which is now in circulation, uh, the transition between when it was released and when you should be retrieved. Thank you for your time. Thank also you for having me. After the break, Brent crude futures gained 44 cents. That's about 0.54% to settle at $82.64 in early trade. Well, more to come on that after these commercials. Please stay with us. <laughs>